Hello civil engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel on civil brains. So in this lecture we will see how practically a one-way slab is given, right? So we will try to see that through a video. So in this you are going to get two benefits. One is that you are going to uh, see the entire coastal region of Karnataka. So this is a place called Murdeshwar which is uh, close to my native. And the second is that obviously we will try to learn something out of this lecture, right? So first you try to see, you enjoy this entire uh, beach and then we'll start with the slab centering works and all right so it has got around 21 towers okay this entire gopur what you can see here and this uh, lord shiva is the second tallest uh, statue in asia we have okay yeah and this is that entire uh, beach what we have Cholo. anyhow We'll come back to the main fund of this lecture. So you can see the entire centering of a slab has been done. So this is almost a 3,000 3, almost a 3,000 square feet uh, slab area what we have. You can see all the beam reinforcement has been put up. And if I taken my course, uh, you can obviously understand that how this reinforcement are put up. What is the logic behind this? What is bending moment? What is shear forces? Why is that you know the top extra bar is stopped here? Why not it has gone completely? And yeah, all those things is done in my course. And look at those people, they are just bringing the rebar uh, from the ground to the second floor. It's a hostel, it's a hotel which is happening here. Right now we are in the second floor. And these people are uh, bringing the bar to the second floor. And this is how they try to arrange the bar. Like they have a 10 diameter bar kept here. They have a 8 diameter bar kept here. And we have different panels here, right? We have different slab panels here. So based on that, all the bars have been, uh, you know, placed it here. And this is like a open to sky portion where you can uh, you know get a good sunlight from here. So this is a small opening what they have done in the slab. And all these are the different panels like I have one panel here, this is my second panel, this is my third panel and so on. Yeah. So again uh, we'll come back, we'll try to see this once again and then we'll come back to this cello, right? So all the beam reinforcement has been put up whatever is mentioned in the drawing no the same thing you have to do the execution on the side uh, about the stirrup what what spacing the stirrup has to be placed how many bar you have to place at the top right you can see a top bar here you can pl you can see two top bars then there is an extra bar here right so all those will be mentioned in the structural drawings and based on that the execution has to be done as a site engineer So you have seen the entire uh, slab uh, centering which has been completed. Now we will get into the uh, structural part, right? So I will play the second video now. So here you can see this guy is doing the marking, right? So we have a slab panels, isn't it? Now this guy is doing the marking for the uh, bars to be kept. Now here in the structural drawing, it is mentioned that you have to place the bar in the shorter span at 6 inches center to center spacing and that is why you can see on the tape here this guy is uh, marking 6 inches center to center spacing you can see it here no 6 inches then it comes to 12 inches right? if I go back so 6 inches 12 inches then 18 inches then 24 and so on so every 6 inches he is going to do the marking so that it will be easy for him later to keep the rebars over there So you may get confused here, already some marking has been done here and why is this guy is doing the marking. This marking what you can see here right, the yellow color. This is the marking which is done for the stirrup, okay. This is my stirrup and here uh, of course in the structural drawing it will be mentioned that you have to place a 8 mm uh, stirrup, I mean 8 mm dia for the stirrup at 150 center to center spacing and based on that I will be doing a 150 center to center spacing between these two stirrup, between these two, between these two and so on, right. So for this you need to be good at uh, uh, reading the structural drawing and if you are uh, finding it difficult to read the structural drawing or if you are a fresher then obviously I have a certain courses uh, on drawing reading and all you can take those courses they are at a very less price of 400 rupees 
you can buy it from Udemy or you can uh, download my Civil Brains app and you can buy from there. Either way, it's okay. So in that I have covered more than six different structural drawings and you will understand how these drawings has to be read and all, right? Anyway. So in this way he has completed the, you know, a six inches marking on this entire uh, slab. On the one side he has finished. Then he has to do the same thing on the other side as well. We'll try to see that as well. Okay, so now he is coming on the other side. So he'll start from then. Again, the same logic. Again, it's a six, six, six inches center to center spacing. So six inches, six inches, six inches, and so on. So again, you can see a number written here. So there's something 33 written here, right? What do you mean by that? That means uh, to be on the safer side, what these people do is, you can see a stirrup placed here, right? This is one stirrup, second stirrup. So in this entire span of a beam, you have to put a 33 number of stirrup. That is why he has done this stirrup here. Again, okay, he has kept a stirrup here. I mean, they have put a stirrup here and this is a number of stirrup, right? The second is that you can see a marking here. You can see another marking here. Again, this marking indicates that you have to place a stirrup here. This marking indicates that you have to place a stirrup here. This marking indicates that you have to place a stirrup here. here. So in this way, the entire marking will be done so that it is easy for you to do the execution on the side. Right. So next what we are supposed to do, next we are going to do the uh, crank bar marking. So what is this crank bar marking? See, now this is my shorter span. So this is my shorter span. We know how the reinforcement will put up in the slab, right? If you have taken my course, by this time you know how it, how it will come. So I'll bring one bar from here. I'll bring one bar from here. Okay. I'll crank it here in this way. I'll take it like this, right? So okay. Then I'll bring another bar from here. Okay, I'll crank it here and I'll take it in this way. Now, wherever I have cranked, no, wherever I have done the crank, so this crank till what distance I need to do the cranking on the either side, that distance I, it will be mentioned in the structural drawing. This distance I'm speaking of, okay, with the, the cutoff point. So that is what is that point called? Called we have studied it. It's called as point of contraflexion, where your bending moment changes from positive to negative or negative to positive, right? Good. So this mark this line no whatever this distance i want i want this distance from this outer from this outer to here what is the distance i want it hmm? so that is why uh, this guy is uh, doing that marking first what he has done he has uh, measure he has done the measurement from here to here let us say he got some 8 feet now what is the center of 8 feet i mean what is half of 8 feet it's a 4 feet so he'll do a marking of 4 feet here Okay, so exactly on the center here got. Now he'll divide from here how much it is. This is 4 feet now. This is also 4 feet. What is half of 4 feet? It is 2 feet. So again from here to here. Let me do it. See, it was 8 feet altogether, right? So what is half of that? Half of that is uh, 4 feet for me. So my center will be somewhere here. Let me do that. My center is somewhere here. 4 feet. Now from here again, what is this distance? This distance is 4 feet and what is the half of 4 feet? Again the center of this will be somewhere here. Let me take the center of this. So this, so this center will be my crank. 
point or let us say the cutoff point right now whatever I have explained no the same execution you see on the side see this distance is 4 feet let us say and half of that is 2 feet so that 2 feet marking what I have put in green color no that marking he has done on the side practically okay so this is that cutoff point let us say it is a 2 feet if 8 feet is my distance half of that is 4 and half of 4 is 2 so obviously indirectly what is trying to do you know it's L by 4 distance and this L by 4 distance will be mentioned in the structural drawing that you have to do a crank at a distance of L by 4 why it is L by 4 only because that's how the uh, code books are done and that is that point where the point of counterflexure happens right so on one side he has done the same is going to do on the other side as well see again here also he has done the same thing so every you know uh, like uh, throughout that uh, span is going to do the marking here and there I mean on the same line for him uh, to be on the e uh, safer side right all right so up to here we have understood now next what we are supposed to do he is going to do the same on the other side as well again whatever logic we had applied here no the same thing let us consider now this is 10 feet what is half of 10 feet 5 feet so he is searching for 5 feet there ok and this is what he is marking ok so this is 5 feet for him so he is showing it again you can look there ok see overall how much he is getting just try to pause and see it here see how much he is getting he is getting 95 this is inches ok this is 95 inch so uh, let us say almost 95 we can consider either 90 ok let us say it is 95 or 96 95 is also ok for us ok we will consider this as 95 and this is So it's not inches actually, it's not 95 inches, it's 95 centimeter I guess. Yeah, and half of that is how much? Let us say it's 96, half of that is 48. So exactly on the 48 is marking that. And what is half of that? 24, this is 24 marking. Whatever marking you saw here, no? this is a 24 marking. So 24 inches it is, I'm right, it's a 24 inches that comes out to be 2 feet. And this is a 2 feet marking, okay. It was. It is actually 95, we'll say 96 inches, it's okay, 1 inch here and there. Half of that is 48 and half of that is uh, 24 so this is that 24 inches what is marking or you can directly do that L by 4 that is 96 divided by 4 that comes out to be 24 one and the same right so you can see that marking here this is the arrow mark for the crank uh, bar yeah so I hope uh, you have enjoyed the lecture up to here so in the next lecture we'll try to continue this pa part 2 in that I'll show you how the reinforcement has been put okay so far we understood the fundamentals like how you need to decide the panel and what is shorter span and what is longer span and uh, how you have to do the crank bar marking so in the next lecture no we'll try to see uh, the reinforcement details and all so I hope you have enjoyed the lecture up to here. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and if you are interested in the courses you can enroll in the courses you can whatsapp me. I have given my whatsapp number in the beginning of this. You can whatsapp on this number. You can buy any of these courses if you want to understand or in a very fundamental way. We have internship courses as well. We have courses in English and Hindi as well. Whatever is your requirement please let us know so that we can help you out. So we will see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.